Have you ever wondered what the Central Reserve Bank is or what it does? It's a question that has crossed many minds but often left unanswered. This institution, often shrouded in mystery, plays a pivotal role in our economy. It's like the heart of the financial body, pumping the lifeblood of money throughout the system. The Central Reserve Bank, my friends, is more than just a bank. It's an entity that controls the money supply, ensuring there's just the right amount circulating in the economy. Too much can lead to inflation, too little can lead to recession. It works tirelessly behind the scenes, maintaining financial stability and keeping the economic ship sailing smoothly. It's the unseen force that keeps our financial world turning, and yet it remains a mystery to many. So let's pull back the curtain and shed some light on this elusive institution. So let's delve deeper into what the Central Reserve Bank is all about. The concept of a Central Reserve Bank wasn't always around. In fact, it's a relatively recent innovation in the grand timeline of human history. So, how did we get here? In the early days of commerce, banking was decentralized and often chaotic. Merchants and traders would deposit their gold and silver with goldsmiths and receive paper receipts in return. These paper receipts were the precursors to modern banknotes, and they allowed trade to flourish without the need to physically move large amounts of precious metals. However, this system had its flaws. For instance, there was no regulation or oversight, and goldsmiths could issue more receipts than they held in gold and silver. This often led to financial crises when depositors would rush to withdraw their precious metals, only to find that there wasn't enough to go around. In the 17th century, the Bank of England was established to address these issues. It was initially a private institution, but it served a public purpose. It offered a secure place to deposit gold and silver, and it issued banknotes that were backed by these deposits. Over the next few centuries, other countries followed suit, establishing their own central banks. These institutions were created to stabilize their nation's economies and provide a more secure banking system. They were given the power to issue currency and regulate its value, and they became the lenders of last resort stepping in to prevent bank runs and other financial crises. The Great Depression in the early 20th century underscored the need for central banks. The economic turmoil and widespread bank failures led to the creation of the Federal Reserve System in the United States. This central banking system was designed to provide a safer, more flexible and more stable monetary and financial system. From then on, central banks have played a pivotal role in national economies. They've evolved to meet the changing needs of their countries and the global economy, taking on responsibilities like implementing monetary policy, supervising commercial banks and managing foreign exchange reserves. And thus, the Central Reserve Bank was born out of necessity. Now that we understand how Central Reserve Banks came into existence, what exactly do they do? You might wonder? Well, let's dive right in. First and foremost, Central Reserve Banks play the critical role of controlling inflation. Inflation, in simple terms, is the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services is rising. Central banks keep a sharp eye on this rate. If it gets too high, your money can lose value. But if it's too low, economic growth may stall. It's a delicate balance and the central bank is the maestro conducting this economic orchestra. Next up, managing the country's money supply, or in other words, how much money is floating around in the economy. This might sound a bit abstract, but it's as tangible as the notes in your wallet or the digits in your bank account. By adjusting this supply, central banks can influence interest rates, either encouraging people to spend or save their money. Think of it as turning the tap of the economy, sometimes letting out a steady flow, other times tightening up to prevent a flood. Last but certainly not least, the Central Reserve Bank acts as the government's bank. Yes, even the government needs a bank. It's where the government keeps its accounts, where it borrows money to fund public services, and where it makes payments. In a way, the central bank is like the financial heartbeat of the nation, ensuring that the lifeblood of money keeps flowing smoothly and healthily. So, you see, the Central Reserve Bank isn't just a big, faceless institution. It's more like a guardian, overseeing the economy, keeping it stable and encouraging growth. It's the unseen hand, gently guiding the ups and downs of our financial lives. These roles make the Central Reserve Bank a powerful and crucial institution. It's the engine driving the economic vehicle, ensuring that no matter the terrain, the journey continues. And that, dear friends, is why understanding the Central Reserve Bank and its roles is so essential. We've talked about the roles, but how does a Central Reserve Bank fulfill these roles? Well, let's dive right in and get to the heart of the matter. 
A central reserve bank has several key functions that allow it to play its crucial role in maintaining the economic stability of a nation. One of the most important of these is setting interest rates. This is a bit like adjusting the thermostat in your house. If the economy is running too hot and inflation is on the rise, the central bank may decide to turn up the interest rates. This makes borrowing more expensive, which in turn slows down spending and cools the economy. Conversely, if the economy is running too cold and needs a boost, the central bank can turn down the interest rates to stimulate spending and warm things up. Another vital function of the Central Reserve Bank is managing foreign exchange reserves. Picture this as a kind of safety net. By holding foreign currencies, the central bank can step in if the value of its own currency starts to fall too fast. It can sell off some of its foreign currency reserves to buy up its own currency, helping to stabilize its value. And last but certainly not least, the Central Reserve Bank has an important role in regulating commercial banks. Think of the central bank as a kind of watchful guardian. It sets rules and standards that commercial banks must follow, and it has the power to step in if a bank is behaving recklessly or irresponsibly. This helps to prevent financial crises and keeps the banking system stable and trustworthy. In essence, these functions of setting interest rates, managing foreign exchange reserves, and regulating commercial banks are like the tools in the central bank's toolkit. It uses these tools to navigate the constantly changing economic landscape, always aiming to keep the economy on an even keel. Through these functions, the Central Reserve Bank maintains the financial stability of a nation. And that, in a nutshell, is how the Central Reserve Bank fulfills its roles. The power of the Central Reserve Bank is undoubtedly immense, but what does this mean for you and me? To understand this, let's think of the Central Reserve Bank like a conductor, orchestrating a symphony of economic activity. Just as a conductor's decisions steer the performance of an orchestra, the Central Reserve Bank's decisions shape the direction of our economy. One of the primary ways it does this is through its influence on interest rates. When the central bank lowers interest rates, it becomes cheaper to borrow money. This encourages businesses to invest and expand, and individuals to spend and take on mortgages. The result? An economy that's humming with activity. On the flip side, when the central bank raises interest rates, borrowing becomes more expensive. This can slow down economic activity, a useful tool when the economy is overheating and inflation is creeping up. Speaking of inflation, this is another area where the Central Reserve Bank plays a pivotal role. By carefully managing the money supply, central banks aim to keep inflation at a steady, manageable level. Too much inflation can erode purchasing power, leaving us all a little poorer. Too little, and the economy can stagnate. It's a delicate balancing act, and the central bank is the tightrope walker. The central bank's decisions also impact the overall health of the economy. By using their tools effectively, central banks can help smooth out the booms and busts of economic cycles, promoting stability and sustainable growth. In times of financial crisis, the central bank can act as a lender of last resort, providing liquidity to keep the financial system afloat. But it's not just about the big picture. The decisions made by the central bank impact our everyday lives, from the cost of our mortgage payments, to the returns on our savings, to the price of our groceries. So, the Central Reserve Bank's decisions have a far-reaching impact, touching every aspect of our financial lives. In essence, the Central Reserve Bank is the heart of a nation's financial system. It's the heartbeat that drives the flow of money, maintaining the rhythm of the economy. Born out of necessity, these institutions have evolved into key players in shaping national and global economies. Their roles are manifold. They control the money supply, set interest rates, and serve as the lender of last resort, stepping in when other banks falter. They also ensure financial stability and regulate other banks, keeping the system in check. The functions of these banks are as vital as they are varied. From implementing monetary policy to managing foreign exchange reserves, they are the unseen hands that guide the economic ship. Their impact is felt far and wide. The decisions they make affect not just the economy, but also the everyday lives of the general public. The prices we pay, the jobs we have, the homes we buy, all are influenced by the Central Reserve Bank. With the Central Reserve Bank at the helm, the financial ship of a nation sails smoothly, weathering economic storms and ensuring prosperity.